Not sure if y'all can see that. The first of Micah's little sunflower babies. I don't see any more sprouting. But seeing those coming up under the edge of the brush that I had covered this area with so we wouldn't step on it. I've not even told her yet that they're there. I found them as I was trying to find a place in the shade to sit out here. It was yesterday she and I trimmed the china berry trees a little bit. Can you see that? But until the china, until it puts on new leaves, I don't have quite as much shade. Let me see. And our little um, hibiscus plant is getting some little buds on that too. It's recovering well from its transplant shock. This is an amazing thing. Micah is over there. Let's see. Get my glasses on so I can see if I've got her on. dirt doing what the little ones do. Once again I didn't do nearly as much this week as I had hoped to do. But that's quite alright. Every little bit I get done is a little bit more that's done. It's that time of year for me to be working on a lot of emotional stuff and that was actually something that came up in Lady Led's live this afternoon um, talking about getting ourselves to a healthier point, healthier diet, not doing the emotional eating and the fact that there are so many of us to do emotional eating because we have things that we need to process through and a lot of times it's easier to just grab an unhealthy snack than to deal with even start to think about looking at whatever it is that's triggering us into having an emotional response. Um, we're coming up to the second half of June, which means that I will be dealing with more and more emotional pain. Hi, pumpkin. Um, those who know me or who have seen other posts know that July 2nd is the, is my other daughter's angel bursary. That's when Maxine left us to rejoin God in heaven. And so the days leading up to that, and then her birthday is August 8th, so the next two months are a little bit challenging, they get a little bit rough. Um, and I deal with it the best I can. A lot of times people think that I should just blow it off. I should be fine. It's been almost seven years now. I should be over it. My response to them is we never, if you lose a child, you never get over it. Ever. So don't even ask a parent to get over the, don't expect a parent to ever get over the loss of a child. It's just not going to happen. But 
we find ways to get through our day-to-day -day life and we find ways to Mommy, you see these glasses? I see that sweetheart. This is a water tablet. A water tablet? Yeah. Okay. We find ways to have happiness alongside the grief. Hand in hand with the grief. Because you can have both together simultaneously. But Having happiness in your life does not mean that you never have times where you have to process through the grief again. Because it just happens. Yeah, it's, it's just what normal is for a baby. So one of the things that I work on is improving my diet because we all know there are so many different reasons for so many of us to have food addictions, to have emotional eating and that sort of eating. I need a a little sparrow wine. flavor. I get it. Going. My. The emotional eating does not help us to get into a better place. So we find other ways my. as much as we can. For me, it's being out here in the garden with Micah. I used to write before we lost Maxine. When I had emotional things going on, I would write. I haven't been able to do that in you know, se nearly seven years now. I attempted it for a little while, but uh, and I've attempted it recently. It's just very difficult, and especially when you have a very active little one to focus on. She's sitting here next to me now, playing in the grass. Her beautiful green grass. I think we probably need to turn the water off now, though. What do you think? About time to turn the water off? Mm -hmm. I think it's been going about 10 or 15 minutes. It's about all the time we need to go. I know there are many other people in this world who use their gardening to help them work through whatever they have going on emotionally. It's very, very therapeutic. Um, it's just, it's coming up on that time of year where it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So, focus on more healthy eating because eating unhealthy foods, foods loaded with sugar, white breads, white pasta, white rice instead of whole grain. dealing with your emotional issues oh, your emotional pain the physical pain contributes to the emotional pain we think a lot of times that it distracts us from the emotional pain but it doesn't really it just sidetracks us in our healing process. So, keep gardening. Keep 
1409. Those little things, because we all have emotional things to do. I've never been able to swimsuit on? To play in the water, but I don't want to play in the water. Then go play in the water. I said I don't. Oh, you don't want to play in the water anymore? Yeah. Okay, well, can you go turn the water off for mommy? I just want to spend some time with you. What? Hey, back up, back up. You want what? I want to spend some time with you. You want to spend time with me? Can you go turn off the water and then sit on my lap? I want to do one light up. Hmm? I want to do the other. Don't understand that. <laughs> You're being goofy. I said I didn't. I didn't want to do it right now. Mmm. Okay. Don't step in. Don't step in the patch. Go <laughs> around it, not in it. <gasps> you just about stepped on them. You're supposed to be going around your sunflower patch, not in the sunflower patch. Watch the hibiscus. Why did you decide to come right through everything, sweetie? Ah, little ones. Interesting. And I'm not sure who that is driving past the house and slowing down. Always makes me anxious when people start slowing down in front of our garden. It's not like it's a showstopper yet. Maybe someday, but... Huh? You saw the big cat? Oh, you think it was cupcakes, Mommy or Daddy? Yeah. Okay. Well, it took off. But did you look at your, did you see your sun, your baby sunflowers? She was, I pointed out a um, cat that was on the property next door. A little stray cat. And so she had to go look for that. But anyway. Everybody, be blessed. Have a wonderful Sunday evening. Think it's their cat? I think it's a wild cat. A feral cat. Be blessed, everyone.